Hi everyone, this is episode 382 of the video show. Today I'm joined once again, <laughs> can't get rid of her, <laughs> uh, uh, by Laura Budd from Social Butterfly Media. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, I don't know in why you keep coming on. In the last video, we said that I live here, which I think I might. Do you want a key? Actually, yeah. A key I think it's, I think it's best it for everyone. But I think this is good content. <laughs> it is, and it it's is. good to have someone to talk to and a regular exactly. person to talk to. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. And I am now a regular presence on the show. Yeah. Nice. Regular installation. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Good. Yes. What should we talk about today? We already know what we're talking about. We already know what we're talking about. We were talking about the wonderful world of TikTok. 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 What kind of stuff comes up on your TikTok feed? Um, dogs. Disney. Um, like social media hacks, yeah. uh, comedy skits, bits, <laughs> comedy bits. Bits. <laughs> That's a bit. That's a bit. Is this a bit? Yeah. Uh, and then on my social butterfly TikTok, it, it's literally all other people doing exactly the same thing. Yeah. Because I like to nick their ideas and nick their like hacks and stuff. Um, so yeah, what about you? I bet it's all video stuff, people with cameras, reviews. Uh, yeah, video stuff, camera stuff, um, conspiracy theories, <laughs> loads of football stuff, obviously, uh, like old football videos. Um, From the archives. Yeah. Um, and then people I follow on like YouTube, but like clips of them and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But like, oh, and like history stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any of that. <laughs> I'm yeah. not smart enough for that. Weird, I just have <laughs> silly stuff and then Pomeranian. And like um, uh, clips of like. Uh, uh, sitcoms and stuff like. Oh show. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't really go on TikTok that much anymore, <laughs> but you're on it all the time. Yeah, I'm so addicted to it. It is an addiction thing, isn't it? Because yeah. I deleted it and then sort of got it back, but I don't really go on it. I could spend hours just scrolling through, and then just me and my sister just spent because obviously we don't live together, so we spend hours just sending each other funny videos. Yeah, and you can lose so much, so stuff. much time just scrolling. <laughs> Because it's endless. It's yeah. endless scrolling. You can't complete TikTok. You just keep going. No, but how, how many hours a day do you spend on TikTok? Um, I mean, like, if if it was like, if we're talking like lockdown days, I would spend hours because there was nothing like else to do. So that's when I first got it. And I would spend, I'd be up until like three in the morning just doing that because I didn't have to get up or anything. But now <laughs> I think I probably spend... A day, probably about an hour, yeah, all together. Like so that's hour. like a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon, and then in the evening. Yeah, I reckon it's about an hour, probably. Yeah, nice. But it's good because it gives me ideas and stuff as well, and inspiration. So what's been what's given you inspiration this week or recently? Mm. What's giving me inspiration this week? I just missed the aunt chair then. Like that. <laughs> We'll clip that. We'll clip uh, that. <laughs> that's a clip. <laughs> um, what's giving me inspiration this week? Oh, I'll tell you what has made me happy about TikTok this week. Yeah. Is the video clip that of our last interview. Yes. Um, suddenly overnight, like when it didn't go viral, because let's not be silly. Viral for but us. For us, it was quite a lot. It was over a thousand views, which like my Boom. my videos on my um, business page tend to peak at about between 300 and 600 views. Yeah. And I woke up and it was on 1,000... Was it the first thing you something? checked when you woke up? No, it wasn't. I'd actually forgotten I'd uploaded it. Yeah. Um, and sure. then I thought... I saw it on my Instagram. I was like, oh, yeah, we could check the uh, TikTok views. And then I sent you the screenshot. So yeah, nice. That's cool. Damn. Nice. Yeah, good job. Do that again so. for this one if you want. Yeah, it's good. Little yeah. clips, they do they do well from podcasts. Like, you know old... Um, what's his name? It's Diary of a CEO, Stephen Bartlett. Oh, no. I started his watching him on YouTube. Yeah, his yeah. You, um, TikTok clips of his little interviews. Yeah. Do I've watched, what have I watched recently of him? Seth Rogen one I watched. I clips watched a of clip that. of that today. Yeah. Actually, but that was TikTok. Was it about moment. why he's... Um, Not having kids. Oh, no. I oh, watched uh, why he smokes so much weed. Oh, really? And no, he does no, it all the time every day. Like, yeah, I, I, I like know, I know he's a bit of a pothead. Yeah. A but bit of one. <laughs> a massive one. <laughs> um, but... The one I watched was, yeah, why him and his wife decided not to have kids. It was really interesting. Why wasn't I? It was totally, like, separate. Massive but, yeah. tangent. But um, but they just didn't want them. And now, sure. they, and now they're, like... Fair enough. Fine. They're, ha they're happy with it, and they're happy with their decision. And 
They've got friends cool. that have got kids and they're just, yeah, they're fine. But yeah, his his videos do really well on there. Um, I mean, he was kind of, like, his videos were doing well anyway. So yeah. TikTok's just elevated, so I think. Yeah. Yeah. Should we get onto the uh, agenda of why I texted you earlier? Of course. So um, we're filming two episodes today. We are. Um, so we good. will be dressed the same in those. We'll be dressed things. the same, but they'll be weeks <laughs> apart. And people will be like, where's Mr. Sam? Um, how do you know what's trending on the TikTok? Do I on sound like a total TikTok boomer? Boomer. Uh, <laughs> um, well, it's whatever's whatever sort of on your For You page. Like, because obviously trending videos is different to like trending sounds so you you might see low a trending video on your for you page that's using a trending sound but that same sound could be used on another video yeah. that's trending so if you see it coming up again and again yeah again. that you're interested in something i'm interested in, you might see totally different videos that are trending but because they're what we're interested in but they're using a trending sound um so i think sounds is probably do the sounds lead to similar types of videos so they'll make another similar video with the same joke um or can you do it like a diff- I th- different I video? I think it's, d- it's different. Like, yeah. because people use it for their niche. So businesses will use it. Like, say there's a, so- a funny sound going around. Somebody might use it as their, um, from their marketing department in their company. And then someone might just do a comedy skit with it. Yeah. So, like, it, and it's, those sort of things are open to interpretation as well, which is quite good. So they can be used in repurposed in different okay. ways. Um, so th- you just go, like, the answer is you just go through your feed mm-hmm. and that's it. Mm. So at the top of your TikTok, you've got your people you're following and then the For You page, which is like suggested stuff. And I yeah. tend to be on there quite a lot because that's when we find new people and yeah, new right. videos and new stuff. Um, and if you go and you're following, obviously you're only going to see the people that you're actually following. So you're not necessarily going to discover anything new. Um, so I always stay on the FYP. That's what the kids call it. Hi, um, kids. <laughs> it was back to my Gen Z <laughs> point from last time. <laughs> Gen Z. Uh, Hi, Jen. <laughs> Jen, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's for, I think that's probably the cool. best. The next bit I've put was how do you get ahead of the trends? What's trendy? Do you know? <laughs> we sound like two we, we old sound like people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thirty uh, this year. Yeah, right? thirty this year. Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm old for my age. Though, in some ways. Yeah. yeah. Um, old before your years. Yeah, wise and old. <laughs> A wise <laughs> old sage. <laughs> That's a clip. Yeah, that's a clip. We'll click that. <laughs> um, so I think for me, uh, this is sort of a coming at it from a social media manager perspective. Yeah. So if I'm using my um, social butterfly account, so I follow loads of people that are doing the same stuff, and they tend to put out like, this sound is up and coming, or this trend is up and coming, and then which is quite useful, but you'd only know about those if you're sort of interested in actually like producing content for like a job um but i think you can kind of tell like if there's ones that are just in the sort of public domain it's not anything to do with sort of social media management um you can tell when something's going to go off because you see like a couple of people do it and you're like oh yeah that's definitely going to be their trend in like by tomorrow or by the end of the week or whatever um, but I do think trend reports and stuff are really good. So if you follow any people on TikTok who uh, do right, those there you sort go, of things, yeah. that's what I do on my um, trend reports. So just search that. Yeah, or like, um, so you have lots of social media managers, um, content creators, people like that that you can follow that give away all the like things that are up and coming or the new features or anything oh, right, like nice. that. So that's what I. That's oh, what I do. cool! Did not know that. Mm. Click that. Um, next one is uh, what kind of stuff do I post? So I've tended to post just clips of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think um, they do. Will that do, or do I need to put more effort in? Like, if you you do like day in the life of you and stuff like oh, that. Do you know what day in the life? They are the way forward. I feel we said this in the last time you heard, but I feel self conscious about doing it myself. So that's why I bring you along to yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah. So I don't feel so self conscious talking to you. Um. Yeah. No. I think I. Th- think they are the best videos like i was talking to my sister about this and she's not like she doesn't work in marketing or anything but she does love tiktok yeah um and they're her favorite videos to watch she she will follow someone because they do day in the yeah, lives right. like every week um i just think they're really interesting because i said before like i'm so nosy i love seeing what people do on a day-to-day basis or if it's at work or if it's like i love that because you know i love theater people do like um life of a west end performer oh, right, and it's yeah. like from the moment they wake up to like after the show that night whatever yeah um so 
so yeah i i think using clips of like podcasts and things like that really really effective um i tend to be a bit cheeky with things like that because i'll use the obviously the audio from the video and yeah. then i'll put a trending sound underneath it but mute it so it will still come up on oh, I didn't know the you could do that. yeah i'm it's pretty it's does pretty that work well that's what i did with our, that video works. that did well so keep doing that yeah. yeah try that out yeah so if you've already got sound over the top or or just put it really really quiet in the background yeah, right. so it's so just, just sort, of there. sort of there or if you've already got music on the video then yeah use the trending sound turn oh, it nice. back down and then it will come up obviously when people click on that sound it will come up on the that's just a silly little thing that i do sometimes top tip so click that laura's top tips um yeah, so uh, in terms of like day in the life stuff, yeah, like I like watching, um, like it's, it's certain things that where you lo- you like that, but you don't get to see the behind the scenes stuff. Mm. So something I got into a few years ago was, um, you probably I don't know if you know, um, there's a goalkeeper called Ben Foster. No, I have no idea. He knows. played for Watford at the time. He's now retired. Is uh, Watford the team that Alton John supports? Yeah. Okay, that's all I know. Uh, about so it. he was the goalkeeper <laughs> for Watford, but he started doing like day. Um, match day vlogs yeah so like the vlog like the night before goes to the training ground goes to the ground like goes to the hotel by the ground with the team what he does the night before and then the, the actual day of the the, the match yeah. and before they got promoted so in the championship he could put a gopro in the goal during the game oh you have told me about this yeah. before yeah that's that's cool uh so but then when they got promoted to the premier league the premier league is so like hot on their yeah. own rights so they that, away yeah you can do that so that that made it a bit like not as good because you mm. couldn't see like his how the actual game went and stuff yeah. like that um but yeah seeing like behind the scenes and stuff like that was really cool mm. i think i think it is because people are nosy and i just find them so interesting to mm. watch so i like making i don't know about you but i like making well i actually do know this about you because we just did the studio tour thing but i like making videos that i'd want to watch yeah so for me like a day in the life video i love watching those so i like yeah. making them all little podcast podcast clips I find those interesting because they're little sort of, you know, bite-sized pieces of the yeah. podcast. And I just think they're really easily sort of digestible. Um, so, yeah. What do, what do you think you'd like to do more with TikTok, apart from putting just clips of the... Uh, I don't know with TikTok, but like with YouTube, like where I wa- at the moment I'm watching loads of people taking photos on like f- their film cameras. Oh, right, yeah. So, like, I'm with Ben, like we did um, one for Coconut where it was like, um, we went around well, well taking photos mm-hmm. and then it just showed the photos as we went around. Yeah. And then last week we went back to Whirlwell and we both had GoPros on yeah. and took loads of photos. So we're doing another video of that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so I'm not sure how that would work with TikTok. Like you could you could probably do that, but like you'll be able to show the photos to well in that portrait way. No, but you, I mean, you can upload Unless all landscape, the landscape, but it, it just... Unless you did all portrait photos. Yeah. You can you can un- upload landscape, but it doesn't. They d- landscape videos don't do as well on TikTok because yeah, obviously right. you're not optimizing the space. Um, but yeah, you should definitely try and do maybe yeah. clips of those videos. Or but something. I think I'll look at what I watch on TikTok and just see like mm. how I could. Like I think this probably wouldn't. I don't know if this would work for my business, but like sketch stuff, like stupid sketches. Yeah. I watch a lot of them. You, you say you don't think it would work for your business, but loads of like big corporate companies now. Like um, Virgin and yeah. big, big, like multi million dollar companies are using TikTok and getting their stuff to do. Si- it's not as, I think I've talked about this in a video before, but it's not as like you've got to be super perfect because they know that doesn't work right, anymore because yeah. people are like, s- can see right through it and they're like, well, that's rubbish. That's yeah. not true to life. That's not, you know, that's not exactly what we want to see as like consumers and viewers. Um, so I don't know if that would be a bad thing. I reckon. You could try it. You could maybe you could maybe do like one or two and just see how they do. And I'm just thinking about stuff that like I watch on TikTok. The first one that I thought of was the guy that we share all the time, where it's like he does like film Brilliant. trailers, but it's just he him. Is excellent. Yeah. I'll show. I'll put like, something over this. He's and so then um, funny. another guy I've never shared it with you, but like, oh, you, m- you may have seen it. But like the guy that's from the Greeters Guild, and he's like in a purple I dressing gown. Se- well, I have s- I have seen it. I do know who, yeah. who he is. Troy yeah. Hawk. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I love his videos mm-hmm. as well. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. There's like I, l- I think just like funny videos mm. and stuff like that. But I think yeah, I don't know, if I was uh, maybe when I was like ten years younger, I would be really comfortable doing that. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I'm a bit feel a bit more self conscious myself being in it now. Right. Okay. Because obviously we still make short films and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they're qu- well, they're very sort of 
funny and stupid and yeah, <laughs> not, we don't, not taking ourselves seriously at all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure TikTok's the place for that. I don't know. I think you'd be surprised. Yeah. I, re- I reckon just give it a go. Upload. You could even use some footage of the films that you've done before and just put a couple of clips <laughs> on just see how they do. Yeah. I, I'm thinking of um, <laughs> putting some from like the Dragon Shadow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just see how they do. If they do well, then put more. If, if they don't, then you've tried. Okay. I, I reckon. I reckon we should give it a go. Okay, I'll let you know. Yeah, please do. All right. Well, that's it for our TikTok episode. Wonderful. So we're going to disappear now for like t- two weeks. <laughs> yeah. uh, for us, it's going to be like <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes. We're going <laughs> to s- just sort of turn the cameras off and on again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you, Laura, for coming on the show. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me again. As always, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? The best way to contact me is to either visit my website, which is socialbutterflymedia.co.uk. You can contact me on Instagram, which is at... L- no, it's not. It's at Social Butterfly Media, two underscores. And then my email address is laura.socialbutterflymedia at gmail.com. Almost did it without fluffing it. So close. <laughs>